Earlier in the summer, Shell announced its intention to recommence work in September, an aspiration which it failed to realise. For the month of September and for over 15 months prior, Shell have been unable to work due to constant pickets by Shell to sea. The myth of Shell's commitment to achieving local consent before proceeding with the Horeb gas project was utterly debunked as an army of around 200 police forcibly removed Shell to sea protesters from their picket at the proposed Bellinaboy Corrib gas refinery site. This underlines Shell's disregard for the concerns of the majority of people in Mayo and reinforces the Shell to sea prediction that the only way this project can go ahead is by use of force. Clearly the state is more than willing to lend its strength to Shell to be used against the people it supposedly serves. Amid reports that Shell would attempt to recommence work, supported by significant numbers of police, Shell to Sea campaigners maintained their picket of the proposed refinery. Around 3 o'clock in the morning on Tuesday the 3rd of October, Gardi began to move into the Bellinaboy area and over 200 local residents and Shell to Sea activists gathered in the semi-darkness of the early morning to voice their opposition at the Corrib Gas Project and to underline the fact that although work has temporarily recommenced on the site, Shell to Sea resistance to this project will continue. In the face of deliberate attempts by the Garda to opportunistically provoke and inflame tempers of the protesters at this sensitive time, the nature of the last few days' protests has been consistently peaceful as usual. The effective occupation of Bellinaboy area, hundreds of police have been drafted into the small community to facilitate Shell's work, remain in the area and have maintained a strong presence outside the proposed refinery site since then. In the same way Nigeria's oil police violently suppressed dissent to Shell's corporate rape, the Gadi are effectively Shell's state's provided private army protecting the global giant from the community which it is attempting to destroy. Yeah. I have six kids and a cow will protect one calf. She'll wa she won't get up and run away from him and I witness that. And by hell if I'm going walking away from my six kids and my wife. In fact my father left me in the past. <laughs> the main injury sustained last Tuesday morning. Mary Coyle, who has been choked, that's her being choked. That's Dr. Cowley treating her there. Eventually, after finally getting through, they delayed him. <laughs> oh my god. That's the girl. Look at what they did there. Cuffed in two guards. They were linking arms around. Yeah. Then their arms up here. And then another banger, they couldn't push him back, so his lift up off the ground by my throat. Mary Horn. Not a clear picture, but that was her been hauled out of the trailer while she was And what was the poop? Uh, so she they was washing teacups. Yeah, in the trailer, she's away from where we were. Well, she's away, but she's a little bit from the gate. And I came in tidy enough and washing up the cups that was there. But we'd had tea. So I was asked to go back and find the barriers again. Like everything had finished, I mean the workers have got everything with over this day. So uh, I said I would and I had finished here. So with that he just grabbed me. A few more girls that came along as well, I lifted me. Philip McGrath, one of the Rothbard five, they when they were doing the lifting at the gates, they lifted the bike pump. What are you doing? Very happy with it. Not, no injury in 15 months here of the peaceful protest. The guards are here three hours in force. You are using the Criminal Justice 1994 Act. Answer, answer. She's talking Answer the question. Answer the question. You're a So oh. 
souls begin to wane as the edges fray. Bow into our own mortality. We wait for our own decay. We wait Stand by the ocean and watch the coast.